Hi, Jean Bobish here. Fun Stampers Journey Coach number 818092. And today I want to share with you and show you this incredible machine that I got in my starter kit um, for becoming a Fun Stampers Journey Coach. This is called the Journey Platinum. And you may think it looks familiar, similar to another machine out on the market. Um, and that is because this machine is made for us by Spellbinder. So you, are know, you know that you are getting a quality piece of equipment with this machine. Now let me show you some of the things about it. It has a really nice sturdy um, metal handle. It has a nice little carry handle here and I must warn you that this is a substantial machine. It does have um, some weight to it and then you can fold it down and you have this beautiful huge work surface. Now I had another little machine um, from another company. Don't get me wrong, I love that little thing and it has created the paper crafting monster that I have become um, but it had a few flaws and one of them was didn't have enough pressure for some of the things I wanted to cut out and the other thing was the width. This will hold a full sheet of eight and a half by eleven paper and I'm just showing you which to me is an awesome benefit right there. Now, when you purchase this machine, it comes with your platform. And it is a magnetic platform. And I'm going to put this up for a second so I have more room here to show you. Half of this machine, and you probably can see the little magnets underneath the cover, half of this plate is magnetic. So it will hold your magnetic dies in place which to me is another bonus. You don't have to buy a separate magnetic plate. The other half is just the plain or just plain plate. Okay. Um, it has directions and your sandwich is right on it for using embossing folders, embossing a die cut out shape, and the sandwich for thin metal dies. Now this will take the steel rule dies. I don't have any to show you, but it will work and Fun Stamper's Journey will um, does sell some of the steel rule dies along with the thin metal dies. Okay, so you get this. You get two cutting plates and you can see that I have already been having a lot of fun with mine. It's been used. I keep one to cut on and one as my cover and they are marked so there's no way you can use the wrong plate for the wrong job. Then we have our rubber embossing mat. This is for when you have a die that you want to emboss. Um, and then we have our embossing plate which is this lovely green color. Um, and again, it is marked, and this is for using with embossing folders or your rubber mat. Now, one thing I want to say is this, this machine will not work with the 3D embossing folders. For that, you will need to purchase a crease pad, and that is available from Fun Stamper's Journey. But with this machine, this is what you get all these pads that you need to do whatever you want to do. Now let me show you a little bit about how this machine works and how totally awesome it is. Okay, I'm going to start with my base plate and I'm going to put my magnetic side here. I'm going to use one cutting plate and I'm using the plate that I always cut into and you can get extra plates from Fun Stamper's Journey also. I'm going to place down my stamped image 
And this stamped image is our Just Because AT, which stands for Artist Trading. And it is number AT0183. And I love this stamp set. Ugh. And then, along with that, I had the wrong piece there because I stamped that leaf too close. I have the matching die just because, and that is DI-0183, if you're interested. And I will put a link down below uh, to my site where you can purchase these items and anything else that Fun Stamper's Journey carries. Now I'm going to lay the die, and did you hear it click? It's stuck right on that paper. Now look, that magnet, it will move, and that's because my platform is warped. Let me see if I can get it down here better. It's sticking already, and I'm going to put it in place, okay? And it is staying. It is not going anywhere. Okay, now, and my plate got warped simply from use. I flip it um, occasionally to, to keep the, the plate flat. And if you have some of the other die cutting machines, um, you know that you have to do that with those also. So it's not just uh, something that you must do with this machine. So, okay, I got these lined up the way I want them, and I'm going to take my other cutting mat, and I'm just going to set it on top. I don't even have to line them up, and I'm going to run this through, and I'm going to run it back simply because I don't have room on my table to take the plate out the back. Okay, so here it comes, and let me show you what we have. Beautifully cut out pieces, all ready to use on your, your card, or scrapbook page, or whatever you want to use it on. Okay, so I'm going to put this away. And this was stamped with our True Color Fusion Black Licorice ink. And this ink is fabulous. It's a hybrid ink. Um, it's all purpose. It's a blending of both pigment and dye inks into one pad. So you don't have to um, think, well, do I need a pigment ink or do, do I need a dye-based ink? You get both of them in here you get the look of pigments but they dry like dye inks so that's they're fabulous and they come in many colors and you can see them also on the site so let me show you another uh, die that I just received this is the Persian garden die set and this, these are for A2 size cards. And let me get a ruler and I can tell you the sizes of these. Hold on for just a moment. Okay, I'm back. The inside panel is four inches by five and a quarter. And the outside frame, I'm looking at the cut line, is five and a half by four and a quarter. So this square will perfectly fit the front of an A2 card. Now, there's several ways you can use these uh, dies. First of all, let me grab a piece of paper here. I'm going to place my paper on here. I'm still using the magnetic side and I'm going to take my die and I'm going to place it on here and I'm going to place it at an angle. And if you don't want to waste paper, of course you can cut it to the size you want, but I, I'm not going to take the time. I just want to show you. Now you can hear that. That is sticking on there 
really well. Now the reason it's a good idea to put your dies like this or like this on an angle is because if you lay them like this or this, you're getting this full edge going through your runners at once, your rollers. Um, and you get that loud crunch sound. And to avoid that, if you put them on an angle, your rollers are coming across like this and they're hitting a small area at a time. And so that helps a little bit. Now this is a very detailed die. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a shim over it. And of course, my shim is a little too big here. It's going to stick out the edges. So let's whack a piece off of it. Okay. And I will add my other cutting plate. And again, I will roll this through. And you can hear it crackling and getting a little harder to turn because we have that shim in there. Okay, and then just because I can't get my plate out the other side because of my desk, I'm going to bring it back through. And we'll see what we have. I'm going to take off my shim and my cover. And I'm going to lift up my die and tap it off and look at that beautiful cutting. Perfect. First time through. Now every machine is different. You may not have to use a shim on yours. I've done this before so I know that I need a shim with this more intricate die. Now this is one way you can use it. You can cut it out of the front of your card like so and maybe place a different color paper underneath to get an effect like that which is just gorgeous this is so pretty now another way you can use this die and let me dump this in my garbage can here so we don't make too much of a mess is you can use just the square to make a map for the front of your card so here again I'm going to take another piece of now, if this is big enough, yes, it should fit on there just fine. So, again, I'm going to let this one, no, I'm going to use a different piece. Okay, place my paper, putting my die on an angle. Again, like I said, you don't have to do that. I just find it's easier and run it through. You don't hear that loud popping, snapping. I'm going to run it back through. You notice that when you put it on an angle. Just for the heck of it, I'm going to show you. Well, first, here's the beautiful piece we get. And I know these colors don't go well together, but you can do something like this on the front of your card for that effect. Now, just for the heck of it, I need another piece of paper. I'm going to run this through straight, just so you can tell the difference uh, um, or putting it on an angle. Hear that? Your rollers are hitting that edge all at one time. that and you don't get that when you put it on an angle that's just a little tip I learned along the way and so here we have another mat that I can use on the front of the card I'll get a piece of paper and this time I'm going to cut my paper because I want to put this on an angle I'm going to lay down the frame piece first. Now we're always putting the cutting side down. Okay. Let's 
And then I'm going to grab my shim. This time I'm going to get a larger shim to cover the whole. Yeah, sure I am. Okay. That will cover my whole piece. Everything's full of static here. And I'm going to place this over everything and run it through. Now it's a little tight. I'm having difficulty because I'm sitting down here. So bear with me. little pieces. You can flick them with your fingernail or use a pokey tool, whichever you prefer. Okay, to get the rest of these out, but you see what I what I'm, sh I'm going for, I'm showing you this, how nicely everything gets cut out, and what a beautiful front this would make for a card. Now another thing that would be fun to do is cut this out in a different color, um, like I did, but I didn't save all the little pieces, and it would be very time consuming, but imagine how pretty it would be if you were to take, say, some of the yellow pieces here, I'm trying to find them. Let's move this out of the way. And kind of, you could kind of do a stained glass effect by piecing another color into some of these areas. Um, like maybe just the certain motifs. Uh, I just grabbed these out of the waste can, so I don't know exactly where they go, but you get the idea. Um, just glue them on your card in certain areas, and that would be a really pretty extra effect you could get by using uh, the scraps and two pieces of paper. Now I'm going to show you how to emboss a die. Um, I don't have a Fun Stamper's Journey die that I can emboss. So let me see what I have in my collection here that might work. Of course I can't think of one when I need one, right? Okay, let's just pick um, a simple rectangle. Okay, so I'm going to, again, cut this out, or, yeah, cut it out as I normally would. Now, my plate is getting a little warped. Can you see that? So I'm going to turn it over, place my cardstock, place my die, and then use my cutting plate and my machine back over and run it through and you hear none of that hard rough crackling because I put it on an angle okay. now I'm going to leave the paper in the die 
and if you follow the directions on the mat here, it says to place the die paper side up. Then we are going to put, and again I'll put it on an angle, and my magnets are holding it nice and secure, but I'm going to take a piece of tape just to tape my paper so it doesn't move. The die is not going to move, but the paper may move. So we're going to just take a piece of tape and <clears throat> next I will do my embossing mat and my embossing plate. And again, these are all labeled so you won't use the wrong plate at the wrong time. So I'm going to run this through and let's bring it back. And we have a perfectly embossed, I can get it off the magnets, plus I taped it down. Okay, let's remove our tape. And let me see. Oh, you can see already. Look how beautifully embossed that die was. I'm sorry I don't have a Fun Stamper's Journey one to show you, but... Um, I just recently joined, so I'm limited so far on supplies. Okay, now, okay, one more thing I want to show you to how we can do on this machine is to emboss using an embossing folder. And I have papers flying everywhere here. So, if you look on your platform, it shows you exactly the sandwich you need. So I'm going to take just any old embossing folder and place my paper in it and I'm going to put it on the non-magnet side for this one. So it says to place your folder with the paper in it on your platform. Then we add a rubber mat and then we add our cutting plate and we just send that through the machine like so oh. Oh, I have a piece of paper I got stuck in there okay and there you have, look how beautifully that is embossed. Oh my gosh, just awesome. Or you could use the debossed side. Okay, so now that you've seen all the wonderful features of this super machine, um, in case you're thinking, boy, how can I get one of those machines? Well, I will have the information below in the description and also if you contact me, I can let you know how to get this wonderful machine for up to 50% off. You heard me right, 50% off. So just contact me at the information below and I will give you all the details. So thanks for watching and I hope you'll stop by again real soon. Bye-bye.